Well, I checked the parallelness of the ball screws for the y-axis and found that one end was about one and a half to two millimeters wider than the other. So what I did was on this end here, I found a shim that was about 0.65 millimeters and uh, loosened these up and stuck it in there to shim it over on each of these. And checked it again from one end to the other, and now I'm about a probably about a half a millimeter off. So I think I'm going to try it with that. So right now I'm getting ready to try to bark this uh, aluminum bar. What it is, I ran these two ball nuts all the way to one end and got an equal distance from the extrusion at the end. And I laid the aluminum bar against right next to it. What I'm going to do is take the square and line it up with the center of the hole and make a mark on one side, just one hole. Do the same thing on this, on this other side. Then I'll measure from that mark over to make the mark for the second hole. And before I drill any holes, I'll run it down to the other end and do the same and just double check it to make sure it's right before I drill any holes. I got to thinking and decided to, instead of trying to mark for the center of the hole, I'll stick a bolt in there that's the right size for that and make a mark on each side. Then I can come back and measure between the two marks and get the center. I measured between the two taps holes on the ball screw mount and looks like it's measuring about <coughs> excuse me um, 50 millimeters this one seems to be maybe just a hair off this one's a little bit closer and the screw was measuring five millimeters in diameter so I've got two lines five millimeters apart so what I can do is go 50 millimeters from the outside line of one, or I'll move over to the one mark. I never like to go by the end. I always like to put it on the one and then make sure I add that to it. So it'll be 60 millimeters from this mark to the inside of this one, and then five millimeters. If I draw these two lines, that should put me in line with the two tapped holes. Looks up it li looks like it lines up pretty good. So we'll do the same thing for the other side, and then we'll run down and check the other end. I'm going to go ahead and mark the center across the width of it while I got it down here on this end. The bar is a two inch bar so we'll just mark uh, one inch from each side. Go ahead and drill one hole for each one first and uh, lay it on there and put the screw in, make sure it lines up. Then I'll run it down to the other end and see if it lines up with the screws in it.
I'm gonna drill a five millimeter hole, which is just a hair bigger than the screw. Okay, that lined up pretty good. Now I need to run it down to the other end and check it there. Okay, we're down at the other end now, so we'll check, see if the holes line up. Looks like this one might be just a little tight. started but I don't like that it's just a little bit too tight looking down through the hole you can see it's not lining up perfectly I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not how far that holds off whether it's going to show up or not see a little bit on the left hand side there so what I may do is because we've already drilled the holes to match that end down there what I may have to do is take these mounting plates here and move each of them out a little bit but we're right up against the corner bracket plate so what I'd have to do is either sand a little bit off this edge here or take this plate off and sand a little bit off of that. I'll decide here which way to go on that. Also what I need to do is check the distance from the hole to the side extrusion at the end where both of them lined up and then bring it back down here again and see if one side or the other is the same or whether we have to do this on both sides or not or if we get by just doing it on one side would be good well I think I've gotten it straightened out now where it's parallel both sides all the way down got two screws in it here and I ran it all the way down with two drills what I had to do on this end here was take this plate off sand a little bit off the edge here take this plate off here, sand just a hair off that edge there and move this over move that over until the holes lined up and I think it's pretty true now 
I did notice one other thing when I ran it down to this end here. This side here looked like it was a different height than this side. So what I had to do was end up when I measured it, I had to lower this plate down a little bit. As you can see right there, it's a little bit further down than this one to get the same distance from the table up to the ball screws uh, to get them parallel height wise. So hopefully it'll be all right. I'm getting getting ready to drill the second hole in that aluminum bar now and we'll put two bolts in it and run it back and forth and see how it does with the two bolts. Well I got the other hole drilled in both uh, sides of the aluminum strip and mounted to the ball screw mounts and ran it from one end to the other it seemed like it's going to run okay so next thing to do is going to be to mark the ends of it for the gantry and get those cut off flush drill two holes in it each, each end and uh, use a transfer punch to mark holes in the side plate and drill and tap those and then bolt the aluminum bar to it and that'll complete the, the uh, gantry Thank you. 